Hey everybody, it's Adam here with another video. Welcome to my little corner of the woods. Um, I've been living off grid for quite a few years now. Um, I'm gonna post my video of my first cabin my friend Matt made for me. Uh, when I had my first cabin, I didn't do YouTube at all, but I was, uh, I was there for quite a few years and I built it from scratch 100% off the trees on the land and all the rest of it. So if you're interested in that, check out that video. Um, but I've been making some videos lately about just uh, me giving some of my thoughts and advice on the off-grid life. And, you know, there's people who always talk about, oh, I want to go off-grid, I want to escape, and, and all that sort of stuff, which, cool, that was me as well. And um, here I still am, so I completely understand, and I just want to kind of talk to those people out there, and if you're just curious about the off-grid life, then this video is for you too. So anyways, the topic of today is... How quiet is it out in the country? How quiet is it in remote areas? Because uh, when people think of remote areas or, or you know, quaint, quiet countrysides, they think of quiet. You know, they think of a really quiet area. And 100%, it's, it's definitely, you can get that out there. You can get quiet. But there's also some realities you have to know about the country or the woods, especially. I have more experience in the woods as opposed to the country. But um, anyways, I want to talk about that today. So. Here we go. So first off, when people think of living in the woods, they think of like the quiet of a wilderness park, the quiet of a um, conservation area. You know, forgotten by time, uh, forest, all you hear is the birds, the water, and that's it, the wind. You have to go very far to get that. You have to go very far to get that type of quiet. What you end up getting in the country or in the woods, I'll talk more about the woods, I guess, uh, is quite a bit of noise, believe it or not. So here's the thing. If you want quiet, you have to get very far. You need to get on a boat and go to an island or you need to like take a plane and go to where there's no roads. And you can find that quiet. But in most cases, you're on a dirt road or you're on a two-lane highway or you know, just a semi-busy or semi-quiet uh, paved road somewhere. Roads are loud. You know, like, even if you're a kilometer away from a two-lane highway, you're going to hear that. You'll especially hear it in the wintertime. I'm up in the northern country here. It's, it's cold. Um, things echo more in the cold. Transport trucks are out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and if you're up near a hill, and a road and a hill, you'll hear those jake brakes from those transport trucks all night long sometimes. Even if it's in the distance, they'll still be there. Um, you'll hear traffic trying to get up that hill as well. So you hear traffic, it's, it's around. You, it's hard to escape completely. The best way to escape it is, is to go to the end of a dirt road. If you're at the end of a dirt road, there's no traffic going by your place uh, and it's way quieter. You will still hear some noise, more background, but there's nothing directly in front of you. Um, Oftentimes in rural areas or, or the woods, the speed limits are higher because you're in the middle of nowhere and there's more two lane highways around. So, you know, it makes a big difference. A car going, you know, 80 kilometers or 60 miles an hour, and then it does a car going 40 kilometers or like 30 miles an hour. Uh, the slower the car, the quieter it is. So usually, ironically, if you're out in the middle of nowhere, you're near highways more and people go faster and you'll hear it it's it's more of a it's more of a uh, ear sore than uh than it, it is in a street downtown of a major a residential street in a downtown city somewhere where the traffic is super slow they don't make much sound but when they're going 90 they're loud so bear that in mind noisy neighbors uh, i want to talk about this one so of course like if you're out in the middle of nowhere you know, your neighbor, the neighbors are more spread out, and that's great. Uh, I would advise to you, if you want quiet, make sure you get far away from your neighbor, like a lot of distance. Because what happens out in the country is that people are louder because they have more privacy. So they have a dog, usually, and the dog likes to live outside half the time and bark at everything. So you hear that. Uh, you'll also hear, you know, the kids screaming and running around. Uh, whether you want to hear that or not, or bothers you or not, that's up to you, of course. But um, that's a thing. People are outside more in the country, so you hear that more. Just more people outside. They really use their backyard. So there's that. But also, you know, there's more maintenance on property to be done in the country, or in the, and in the woods. Uh, so you'll hear chainsaws, and you'll hear, tr like, tractors, and you'll hear riding lawnmowers. My 
particular, uh, my personal pet peeve, uh, and riding lawnmowers are way louder than a, a regular lawnmower, by the way. Chainsaws are loud. We have electric chainsaws coming out now, so they're not as bad, but you know, it's still, it's still a lot of action. There's a lot more sounds like that out in the country and in the woods than in the city. People in the city hardly use their backyards most of the time, but people in the country have like, usually have a big workshop with all their tools, power tools, and they like to use them on the weekends, you know, uh, because a lot of people like to do woodworking out in the country, I've found. They're, they're handy people. So they're out there tinkering a lot, and you'll hear it a lot. Uh, and I've been that loud guy. When I was building my first cabin, I was the guy with the chainsaw, and the whole world out there heard me, and um, they knew what I was doing, you know. So it's ironic because you're in a quieter area, but because the area is quieter, everybody hears everything. So you're going to be heard, <laughs> uh, even if your neighbors are really spread out. But that's the thing. If, if, you, um, if you're smart about your location and you have very big lots and there's not too many people, then you'll be better off. You won't really notice it. But there's some rural areas I've seen where it's kind of like the neighbors are pretty close and, and they're all doing exactly what I said. So it's actually a loud place to be which is kind of counterintuitive because when you think of the country, you think of the quiet, but it's not always like that. So I want to talk about industry as well. Industry out in the woods. Well, what's the main one usually? Logging. <laughs> um, mining as well. But um, I've, at the, my current location, a, a sawmill just reopened. It had been closed for decades and it just reopened. And you know what? I hear it all the time. In the middle of the night, I hear the trucks going into the logging area and the jake breaks going down the hill, like I was talking about earlier. I hear that now, unfortunately, and I hear the actual blade going, you know, actually turning and cutting logs. And it's a kilometer or two away from me. But like I say, sound travels very well, <laughs> depending on the weather and stuff. But this time of year with the snow and everything, it, it really travels. So that's something to really consider. You know, how close is the nearest sawmill to you? Logging is a serious industry, and that, that includes commuting, logging trucks, bringing the logs, and they're heavy loads. So the those trucks really struggle uphill and you hear that. Um, and it also includes the actual mach machines at the sawmill itself. So you'll hear, you'll hear all that stuff if you're close to a sawmill, even a kilometer away, um, which my last place was and now this place is too. It just like I say, it just opened up. Um, the other industry is, is mining, uh, the same sort of thing. Um, I've never lived close to a mine, so I can't speak too much to that, but guaranteed it's very loud if you're near a mine. So you wanna keep in, do a good Google Maps search uh, of your area you might be thinking of buying in and make sure there's no big developments like that around because you will hear them. Just a word to the wise on industry. So if you're up in the North Country like I am here with all the snow, snowmobiles. <laughs> snowmobiles will find you. Uh, snowmobilers love to use remote trails. Uh, so another thing to look for on maps is how close are you to the nearest snowmobile trail? trail. Um, if you're close to a snowmobile trail, you can expect to hear a lot of snowmobiles, um, or at least some, all the weekends, you know. My first place, I was near a main artery of a very popular snowmobile trail, and I heard them a lot. And if you've ever heard them before, they sound really annoying. <laughs> they sound kind of like uh, uh, F1, uh, like an F1 racetrack. I've never been to an F1 racetrack, but I can imagine it sounding pretty close, just like revving engines, top speed. If you're out and trying to get some peace and quiet, don't be anywhere near snowmobile trails because you won't get them there. You, you won't get peace and quiet there. Uh, so snowmobiles are a thing that people in the woods in the country both love to do. Stay away and be, be mindful. Like you're gonna, you're gonna hear it if you're up in the north, no matter what, because it's a main way to get around. It's a way to do work and people just do it for fun. So snowmobiles are allowed. <laughs> just just a warning. Another note on neighbors, um, you might have a neighbor that has 50 acres of land and he's never there. Great. Uh, or so you'd think. One day your neighbor might decide to clear cut his entire property and that's very loud <laughs> uh, and very disturbing and to your view and everything else. Um, so keep that in mind. Logging, like I was saying earlier, is, uh, is a big thing and people privately log their entire 100 acres or 50 acres, whatever they've got and sell it all for money, you know? There's a lot of money in wood. So people do that all the time. Uh, so keep in mind, don't get too attached to your neighbor's property and what it looks like because it could change in a couple of years, you know, or even sooner. 
Um, so I just want to mention that uh, neighbors are a big thing out in the middle of nowhere. So I guess my own personal advice on this would be if you want real quiet and you still want to be in a practical situation where you can get to and from, you don't want to float plane into your property, say, um, dirt roads are something to look for. Uh, the end of roads are something to look for. A good distance away from even two lane highways is something else to look for. Large space between neighbors is something else to consider. And I would also say, keep an eye on the industry in your area. Is there logging going on? Is there mining going on? Is there some kind of crazy... It, it, another thing too, does somebody have their own uh, the, do your neighbors have lots of garages? Like, they, do, they, do they do work on cars? That happens out in the middle of nowhere too. People do their own work on their automobiles and they're revving them up all the time. So what are people doing around you? Kind of get a sense of that. Um, and if you're doing all those things, you can find a quiet spot. Like, right now this is pretty quiet out here. The mill has probably stopped for lunch. <laughs> but um, yeah, just, um, just some of my advice. Look for those things and you probably will find a nice piece of quiet property to enjoy and you won't get all that, you know, background noise. I hope you liked that video, everybody. If you're finding these useful, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and uh, give this video a like, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.